Did you know that true freedom isn't found in money, success or even relationships, but in mastering your own mind? Imagine a life where your inner peace is unbreakable, untouched by the chaos around you. If you're seeking the strength to face adversity, to rise above society's pressures, and to live with unshakable purpose, then this journey into Stoicism might be what you need. This isn't about suppressing emotions or turning a blind eye to challenges. It's about building an inner resilience so powerful that no setback can shatter it. In this script, we'll dive into the core principles of Stoicism, an ancient philosophy designed to create a life grounded in virtue, purpose and unwavering self-worth. From finding strength in adversity to living with a purpose so deep that even betrayal can't break it, we'll uncover the stoic tools that have guided some of history's greatest minds. As we embark on this path to inner fortitude, think of it as a guide to not just survive the storms of life, but to stand tall through them. The stoic way is one of courage, integrity and freedom from the need for external validation. Whether you're dealing with societal expectations, striving for a meaningful life, or seeking to align with your true values, each lesson here is crafted to give you the mindset of a warrior, strong, resilient, and free. Let's begin this transformative journey. Number one, the path to inner fortitude. Imagine waking up each day with a sense of purpose and calm that no circumstance can shake. The idea sounds empowering, right? Picture yourself grounded, free from the constant weight of other people's opinions, unfazed by setbacks. This state isn't as far away as it may seem. It's what inner fortitude truly looks like. A kind of strength that isn't loud, flashy, or dependent on success or validation, but rooted deep within. Inner fortitude is a source of resilience, a source of confidence that doesn't waver under pressure. And when we look at what it means to be strong on the inside, we find it's less about dominating or controlling and more about mastering our reactions, aligning our actions with our values and moving forward with purpose, even when things get tough. But what does it actually take to build this kind of inner strength? It's easy to get wrapped up in the external markers of success. Things like career growth, social standing, and even material possessions. Yet these achievements, while meaningful, don't necessarily reflect what's going on inside us. They don't automatically grant us that unshakable confidence we're after. Instead, building inner fortitude calls for patience, discipline, and a shift in perspective. It requires us to turn our focus inward, to build a foundation of resilience that isn't influenced by temporary highs or lows. Thinking back, there's a certain nostalgia in realizing how often we've sought validation outside ourselves. From childhood to adulthood, we've been trained to perform, to achieve, and to seek approval, not necessarily for our own sake, but to meet someone else's standards. Remember that first time you worked extra hard on a project not because you loved it, but because you wanted to impress someone, or that moment when you achieved something, only to find the joy short-lived, replaced by the next goal, the next milestone. Inner fortitude is about breaking free from this cycle, learning to find satisfaction in the journey rather than the outcome. It's about rewiring our motivations so that they come from a place of genuine self-respect. Curiously enough, Building this inner strength starts with small, consistent actions. What if, rather than seeking validation, we started by validating ourselves? What if we began to measure our worth not by what we achieve, but by the integrity and courage we bring to each day? This shift doesn't happen overnight, but with time and intention, we can cultivate a strength that sustains us through life's many seasons. Number two, the Stoic perspective, anchoring self-worth in virtue. 
Imagine living in a way where every decision you make aligns with your highest values. A life where peace and confidence come from within, grounded in the knowledge that your self-worth isn't tied to external opinions or achievements. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, offers exactly this kind of guidance, a path to anchoring self-worth in virtue rather than success or approval. Picture that sense of liberation, where what matters most is not what others think, but rather your commitment to living with integrity, courage, wisdom, and justice. The Stoic perspective isn't about suppressing emotions, but about mastering them, learning to find balance and strength in your core principles. At its heart, Stoicism teaches us that while we can't control what happens around us, we can control how we respond. Think about how often we're pulled in different directions, reacting to the opinions of others or worrying about factors beyond our control. The Stoic way is to find stability by focusing on what we can control, our choices, our attitudes and our willingness to act according to our values. This isn't about ignoring external achievements, but about recognizing that they don't define us. Instead, our self-worth becomes an unshakable anchor, grounded in the virtues we practice each day. Reflecting on this, there's a nostalgic realization in how much we've allowed external judgments to shape our lives. It's like looking back at years spent striving for approval, recognition or success, hoping they'd make us feel secure or complete. Remember those times you felt on top of the world after an accomplishment, only to feel empty once the moment passed? Or those moments when despite your efforts, external validation still felt out of reach? Anchoring self-worth in virtue frees us from this exhausting chase. It invites us to turn inward, building a sense of self that isn't swayed by praise or criticism, but rooted in the principles we live by. So, what would it look like to adopt this stoic approach in modern life? It's a question worth exploring. In a world where external achievements are celebrated and internal values often overlooked, how might this shift in perspective change, not only how we see ourselves, but how we interact with the world? The Stoic path offers a new lens, a chance to redefine success as living virtuously, regardless of circumstance. Number three, finding strength in times of adversity. Imagine facing life's challenges with a calm, unbreakable spirit, a strength that doesn't just survive adversity, but grows because of it. Think of how empowering it would feel to look at obstacles not as setbacks but as opportunities to become stronger, more resilient. Adversity is a part of life that none of us can avoid, and while it's never easy, it has the potential to reveal the best within us. Finding strength in these moments requires not only courage, but a perspective shift, a willingness to view hardships as stepping stones toward personal growth. In a world that often teaches us to fear failure, embracing adversity becomes a powerful act of self-mastery. When we face challenges, our instinct may be to escape, to find comfort, or to wish the struggle away. But growth rarely happens in comfort zones. True strength, the kind that withstands life's unpredictable twists and turns, comes from enduring hardships and learning from them. This inner strength isn't just about pushing through difficulty, it's about developing a resilience that enables us to approach each challenge with an open heart and a steady mind. In this way, adversity becomes not just something to endure, but something to embrace as a teacher and guide. Reflecting on this, there's a sense of nostalgia in how we viewed struggles in the past. How often we might have wished for an easy way out, hoping challenges would disappear if we ignored them long enough. Think of the early days of adulthood, when every setback felt like a failure, every mistake like a sign of weakness. Yet looking back, those same experiences often turn out to be the ones that shaped us the most. Those times of struggle, as difficult as they were, forced us to dig deep, to find resilience and strength we didn't know we had. 
There's a beauty in realizing that adversity didn't break us, but built us. What if, from now on, we approach challenges with the belief that each hardship has something to teach us? What if, instead of avoiding struggles, we embrace them as opportunities to become stronger, more compassionate, and more resilient? It's a curious thought. How this shift in perspective might transform not only how we see adversity, but also how we see ourselves, opening the door to a more fulfilling and resilient life. Number four, focusing on what we can control. Imagine a life where you focus only on what's within your control. Think about how freeing it would be to release the worry, the fear, and the constant chase of things that lie outside your grasp. This is the mindset Stoics strive for, a life where peace isn't dictated by others or by unpredictable events, but is cultivated by focusing on what we can control. Life constantly presents us with situations beyond our influence, from unexpected traffic that delays our day to a sudden job layoff that changes everything. Often, we pour immense energy into changing these things, which only leads to frustration and stress. The core of the Stoic perspective teaches us that we hold control over one primary thing, our response. It's not about disregarding the importance of what happens around us, but recognizing that our peace doesn't need to be sacrificed for events we can't dictate. When we shift our focus to our own reactions, thoughts and choices, we find a deeper, more sustainable form of control, one that can't be taken away by circumstance. Think back to a moment in your life when you were frustrated over something beyond your control. Perhaps a friend didn't respond as you'd hoped, or you didn't get a promotion after working tirelessly. Reflecting on it now, wasn't most of the frustration a result of wishing the situation would change? Imagine if, instead, you'd focused on what you could control, your emotions, actions and responses. This mindset shift, while simple, is transformative. It teaches us to let go of the battles we can't win and instead put energy into the areas where we hold power. Curiously, applying this focus can open up a world of empowerment and calm. What if every time you encountered a situation beyond your control, you reminded yourself to focus only on your response? How might this change the way you experience each day? When you commit to controlling your actions and emotions, the external world becomes less chaotic and inner peace becomes something you can cultivate consistently. Number five, the power of intrinsic motivation. Imagine pursuing your dreams and goals driven solely by your own desires and values, unaffected by society's opinions or expectations. Picture a life where the work you do is motivated by passion and fulfillment, not external rewards or approval. Intrinsic motivation, the drive that comes from within, offers us a path to this kind of freedom. It's a path where we do things for the sheer joy, purpose or growth they bring us. When we act from intrinsic motivation, our sense of satisfaction doesn't come from recognition or accolades, it's a natural result of engaging with something meaningful to us. While it's natural to seek validation and rewards from the outside world, relying on them can limit us. Over time, we may find ourselves in pursuit of others' expectations rather than our own dreams. With intrinsic motivation, however, we get to follow our genuine interests, values and passions. This shift allows us to work on things that resonate with us deeply, providing a sense of satisfaction that isn't fleeting or dependent on praise. In the long run, this kind of motivation proves far more sustainable and fulfilling. Looking back, there may have been times when we worked tirelessly on a project, only to feel disappointed if it wasn't recognized. It's like working hard on a performance, only to feel let down by the applause. When we reflect on those experiences, it becomes clear that our happiness shouldn't hinge on the approval of others. There's a certain nostalgia in remembering moments when we were genuinely excited about something, 
Undistracted by how it might be received, think of a time when you did something solely because it mattered to you, not because you were hoping for recognition. How fulfilling was that? Now, what if we focused on cultivating intrinsic motivation in our everyday lives? Imagine the resilience and sense of purpose we'd build if our primary drive was from within. What if, instead of asking, will this be impressive, we started asking, does this fulfill me? There's a powerful curiosity in exploring what kind of life we could build if we let intrinsic motivation be our guide. Number six, detaching self-worth from external success. Imagine how it would feel to see yourself as valuable, regardless of achievements or setbacks. Picture a self-worth that doesn't fluctuate with each failure or success, but remains steady, rooted in something deeper. Detaching our sense of worth from external success is one of the most liberating transformations we can undergo. It's about realizing that who we are is far more than what we achieve, own or accomplish. In our society, success is often seen as the ultimate measure of worth. Awards, job titles, bank balances, all these metrics can create a sense of accomplishment, but they can also tie our self-worth to things outside our control. When we allow our identity to be shaped by these external markers, our self-esteem becomes vulnerable. What happens when we fail or when others achieve more? The key to a healthy self-worth lies in anchoring it to something internal, such as our character, values and intentions. When we base our self-worth on qualities we can nurture and control, it becomes something no one can take from us. Looking back on moments of success, there's a nostalgia in remembering how much joy they brought, but also a realization that those highs were often short-lived. Perhaps you can recall a time when achieving a goal felt incredible, only for the thrill to fade as you quickly moved on to the next pursuit. Conversely, think of a time when a setback left you feeling down, as though it defined you. Over time, it becomes evident that basing self-worth on external success creates a cycle of highs and lows. True peace and confidence come from knowing that your worth isn't tied to fleeting achievements, but rather to the strength of your character. Now, imagine what life might be like if we let go of external validation and instead celebrated our growth, resilience and integrity. What if we began to measure success by our efforts rather than the outcomes? How much more grounded might we feel? There's a natural curiosity in exploring the idea of a self-worth that remains steady regardless of what happens on the outside. Number seven, resilience against societal expectations. Picture a world where you're free from the pressures of society's expectations. Imagine living in a way that's true to your values, unburdened by others' opinions on what success, happiness, or a good life should look like. Developing resilience against societal expectations isn't about ignoring the world around us. It's about building the confidence to prioritize our own values and aspirations over others' perceptions. This resilience provides a foundation for authentic living, where we make choices not based on trends or norms, but on what genuinely resonates with us. Society's expectations are everywhere, from media, family, friends, and the unspoken norms of our culture. These messages tell us what success should look like, how we should behave, and what milestones we should achieve. While some expectations are positive, they can also create unnecessary pressure and insecurity. Resilience against these expectations allows us to define our own path. This resilience isn't a form of rebellion, but rather an affirmation of our right to live in alignment with our values, even when it means making choices others may not understand. Reflecting on the past, there's often a sense of nostalgia in realizing how much influence these expectations had on our lives. 
Think back to a time when you chose something simply because it was what you were supposed to do. Pursuing a career, buying something, or even interacting with others in ways that didn't quite feel authentic. How often did these choices leave you feeling disconnected or unsatisfied? There's a beauty in recognizing those moments, as they remind us of how much we've grown in our journey towards self-acceptance. Now consider how life might look if we fully embraced our authentic selves. What if we let go of the need to fit into certain boxes and instead trusted our intuition? Imagine the strength and freedom that would come from living a life free from unnecessary societal expectations. This is a curiosity worth pursuing. What would you do? Who would you become if you lived purely by your own standards? Number 8. Living with purpose and integrity. Imagine waking up every day with a clear sense of purpose, knowing that the choices you make align with your deepest values. Living with purpose and integrity isn't just about achieving goals, it's about cultivating a life where each action reflects who you truly are. Picture the fulfillment that comes from knowing you're on a path that honors your beliefs, your passions, and your vision for a meaningful life. When we live with integrity, our actions and words align with our core values, creating a life that feels authentic and grounded. Purpose and integrity give us a guiding compass. In a world full of distractions, they help us focus on what truly matters, filtering out the noise and the superficial. Living with purpose doesn't mean having all the answers or knowing exactly where life will take us. It's about commitment to a direction, a willingness to stay true to our values, even when the path is uncertain. Integrity, meanwhile, isn't about perfection, but about being honest with ourselves and striving to improve, knowing that each step forward, however small, aligns with our principles. There's a certain nostalgia in thinking back to times when we may have acted without this clarity. Perhaps you remember moments when you went along with the crowd, compromising on what mattered to you for the sake of fitting in, or times when you acted against your own values, only to feel a pang of regret afterward. These experiences serve as reminders of the importance of purpose and integrity in creating a life we can be proud of. They're the threads that weave together a life that feels deeply meaningful. Curiosity calls us to wonder how our lives might change if we let purpose and integrity lead the way. What if we began each day with the question, how can I live today in a way that honors my values? Imagine the courage, the peace, and the fulfillment that might follow. There's an undeniable curiosity in exploring the kind of legacy we might create if every action reflected our deepest beliefs. Number nine, the unshakable freedom of a Stoic. Mindset. Imagine waking up every morning free from the chaos of external circumstances, centered and resilient, regardless of the day's challenges. This is the freedom a Stoic mindset brings, a sense of peace and inner security that doesn't depend on others' actions or the outcome of events. It's a feeling of true liberation, where no matter what happens, you can remain grounded in your own values, holding on to an unshakable sense of purpose and self-respect. The Stoic mindset is built on the understanding that external things, wealth, fame, even relationships, are temporary and beyond our full control. What truly belongs to us is our ability to respond, to choose our reactions and to live by our values. By placing focus on these inner controls, Stoicism offers freedom not in the physical sense, but in the mental and emotional realm. This freedom is the opposite of the reactive, fear-driven life many of us experience. In the Stoic perspective, we're not controlled by our desires, fears, or the unpredictable nature of life. Instead, we live from a place of calm, choosing actions and attitudes that reflect our inner peace rather than external chaos. 
Reflect back to a moment when a difficult situation disrupted your peace, a loss, a missed opportunity, or a relationship that ended. You might remember feeling helpless, as though life's circumstances were dictating your happiness. Yet in that same memory, there's probably also a moment when you realized that while you couldn't control what happened, you could control your response. This is the core of Stoic freedom, and it's as powerful today as it was thousands of years ago. It reminds us that true peace doesn't come from the absence of problems, but from our ability to remain calm within ourselves, despite those problems. Now, imagine how this mindset might transform everyday life. What if, instead of reacting emotionally to every obstacle, you chose to pause and ask yourself, how can I respond in a way that aligns with my values? Imagine facing conflicts or disappointments with the unshakable calm of someone who knows their worth isn't defined by anything external. This kind of freedom is rare, and it's a curiosity worth exploring. What could our lives look like if we lived free from the control of external forces, grounded instead in our own strength and wisdom? Number 10. Embodying the legacy of Belisarius, a life of virtuous effort. Picture a life where every action is taken with purpose and integrity, where each day is dedicated to living with honor and resilience. This was the life of the Byzantine general Belisarius, a man whose legacy is built not on power or wealth, but on virtuous effort and loyalty to his principles. In many ways, Belisarius embodies the highest ideals of Stoic philosophy, a life spent in the pursuit of virtue and dedication, even in the face of betrayal and adversity. His life offers a timeless example of what it means to remain steadfast in character, regardless of circumstances. Belisarius served under the Byzantine Emperor Justinian, leading countless battles and campaigns that expanded and defended the empire. Yet, his loyalty wasn't always reciprocated. Despite his military successes, he was frequently suspected, undermined, and even betrayed by the emperor he served so loyally. Most people in his position might have turned bitter or sought revenge, but Belisarius chose a different path. He continued to act with integrity, driven by his sense of duty and virtue, rather than the desire for recognition or reward. Belisarius shows us that a life of virtuous effort doesn't rely on others' approval or support. It's a commitment to principles that stand firm, regardless of external circumstances. Think back to a time when you felt unappreciated or even betrayed by someone you trusted. Perhaps it was a friend, a colleague, or even a family member. Reflecting on that memory, you might remember feeling tempted to respond with anger or resentment. But what if, like Belisarius, you had instead chosen to hold firm to your values, focusing on your own character rather than others' actions. His legacy reminds us that even in the face of great injustice, we can find strength and honor in maintaining our principles. It's a powerful nostalgia that calls us to rethink how we approach betrayal and challenge, seeing them not as reasons to falter, but as opportunities to deepen our commitment to virtue. Curiosity invites us to consider what it might mean to live with this level of integrity in our own lives. What if, rather than focusing on the rewards or recognition we might receive, we focused on our actions' alignment with our values? Imagine how this might change our responses to life's challenges, allowing us to stay true to ourselves regardless of others' actions. The legacy of Belisarius offers an inspiring challenge to embody virtue, to live with purpose and dedication, regardless of what life throws our way. As we wrap up this journey into Stoicism and inner strength, remember that the path to true freedom begins within. The Stoic mindset teaches us that no matter what happens around us, our peace, purpose and resilience are always in our control. Embrace these principles not just as ideas, but as a way of life. Every step you take on this path brings you closer to unshakable fortitude and a life of true purpose. If you've made it this far, 
Drop a hundred in the comments to show that you're one of the few who commit fully to their growth. And if you're serious about transforming your life, don't miss out. Hit subscribe and join our community for more insights on mastering your mindset and living with integrity.